when the world becomes fully vegan again including the animals okay let's check what we are going to learn in this video when the world becomes fully vegan again including the animals so in this video we are going to answer the following questions number one when will the world become vegan again including the animals number two was there a time in this world when the when the whole world was totally vegan no death number three what is the basis of this possibility number four why do animals predate or eat 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 each other number three and uh, number five was jesus vegan number six one way to understand all the killings and sacrifices in the bible number seven how can vegan movements or advocacies truly make the world vegan why do people fail to be vegan how can we help people to be vegan and appreciation to vegan advocates and plenty of additional vegan great amazing ideas so stay tuned until the end so that we will see the whole picture of everything and we can have uh, de decide whether to believe this or not okay let's start when will the world become vegan including the animals please watch first before you judge and investigate for yourself i'll put all the links down in the in the description so that you can uh, investigate for yourself because truth withstands all investigation someday according to isaiah 11 verse 6 remember this vegan plan will make the whole world vegan not only humans you know how hard it is to convince humans to become vegans this will make all humans vegans and also all animals can you convince animals to be vegan all the animals in africa in the desert in the zoo all will be vegans my friend so this is worth considering if you actually care for animals isaiah 11 6 says the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb the leopard shall lie down with the young goat the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and the little child shall lead them the cow and the bear shall graze their young ones shall lie together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox oh, the lion becomes vegan eating grass the nursing child shall play by the cobra's hole and the wind child shall put his hand in the vipers den. then shall not hurt they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my that's that's god's holy mountain because m is capital for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the lord that means my friend when everybody knows god even all the domain the thorns of the thistles will not be there the animals will not attack each other because as humans we know everybody knows god everybody respects god even the animals they are back to the original okay as the waters course so the full world will be full of the knowledge of the Lord. when everybody everything acknowledges god then nature will follow okay one more verse revelation 21 verse 4 and he will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more see when death shall be no more there are no more dead uh, animals dead cows dead chicken dead goats etc no more death in revelation 21 verse 4 neither shall be mourning nor crying nor pain anymore for the former things have passed away do you want to know to be in that uh, place where there is no more cruelty to animals no more cruelty to animals to humans also wow that's nice so stay on let's see another question 
Was there a time in this world where there was no sin and death? That means everybody was vegan? Yes, there was. The Bible says in Romans 5.12, Wherefore, as by one man, that's Adam, sin entered into the world and death by sin. So how did death enter the world? By sin. When Adam sinned, the lamb was offered as a sacrifice and since all of that and Adam's son killed his other son and so on so and so death passed upon all men and also the animals and also the plants for all have sinned for so for more information about how humans fell into sin you can actually read the whole Genesis 3. And if you want to know the state of the earth before sin, you can read Genesis chapter 1 and 2. If you want to know the state of the earth after sin will be removed, you can read Genesis 21 and 22. The first two chapters of the Bible, it was before sin, no death. And the last two chapters of the Bible, it will, it will be after sin. That is a prophecy. Okay? So that's just a small introduction. I will explain a little bit more about that one. Will there be a time that uh, sin will not come back so that there is no more death? Yes, Nahum 1.9 says, What do you conspire against the Lord? He will make an utter end of it. Affliction shall not rise up a second time nahum 1 9 what does sin have to do with veganism hmm? sin does it have something to do with veganism okay. romans 6 23 says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life in christ jesus our lord so the wages of sin is death. all the death is because of sin Remember that sin is not is sin is the enemy. It's not me versus you. It is sin who is the enemy. That is the enemy. Okay? Who invented sin? The question. If sin is the problem, who invented sin? The Bible also has an explanation for that. In Ezekiel 28:15, Ezekiel 28 is uh, about the king of Tyre, but it is a parallel interpretation for satan okay it says here you were perfect in your ways was the king of tyre perfect no it was satan who was perfect from the day you were created that means satan was created perfect till iniquity was found in you so who invented sin satan or lucifer and he became satan in ezekiel 28 15 if you want more information about how Lucifer became Satan, you can read Ezekiel 28, 12 to 19. Or if you want something less uh, like uh, encoded deciphering fra prophecy, you can read chapter 29 of the book, The Great Controversy by Ellen G. White. The title is The Origin of Evil. My friend, if you read that, you will understand this whole drama of death and sin okay because to understand the solution you have to understand the problem right you have to understand the problem to properly interpret or uh, choose between possible solutions so origin of evil in the great controversy actually you can just read the whole book on the great controversy to see what is really being the great debate Okay, next question. How credible is this idea? Is the Bible prophecy? Is the Bible history correct? How credible is the Bible? First, there are first proof of credibility is that there are many changed lives. There are many former cannibals who are not eating people anymore. Okay, they stop eating their own species. There are many former criminals, criminals, ex-convicts from the prison who found the Bible and who are now 
pastors, preachers, and missionaries and evangelists. That's the proof that the Bible. What else? There are four hundred. There are forty-four prophecies about Jesus made more than four hundred years beforehand that came true. You will know who is God, which word is come from, coming from God, because God knows the beginning to the end. He knows everything and he can predict he knows the decisions people are going to take with their freedom of choice okay and he wants everyone to be saved so prophecies being coming true is a proof that the bible is inspired by god it is beyond human guessing what else history has and is following Daniel two prophecies, Babylon, Medo Persia, Greece, Rome, Europe divided kingdom. That's why Europe can never unite as one again, no matter how much they try, because Daniel two prophecy prophesied that in Daniel seven to eight. Also prophecies and revelation prophecies. You will see that history is following how prophecy in the Bible is written you will be amazed only god can do that what else the new how about how about literary evidence no problem the new testament has been preserved in more manuscripts than any other ancient work of literature with over 5800 complete or fragmented greek manuscripts catalog now, this is archaeological facts 10,000 Latin manuscripts and 9,300 manuscripts in various other ancient languages, including Syriac, Slavic, Gothic, Ethiopic, Coptic, and Armenian, according to Gary Habermas. All of these are in the description below, and the link to my blog where you can click all of these links will be in the description below, so you can check for yourself what else there are 200 so so the new testament has plenty of literary evidence okay literary evidence that was written 200 years before after the death of christ within several hundred years so all of these evidence are all in the libraries archaeologically uh, preserved there's plenty of evidence if you want uh, solid evidence you can touch and see the old testament so that uh, that is the new testament but the new testament has 283 and more direct quotes from the old testament that means the new testament believes the old testament and 885 plus including allusions according to bugster's bible you see there's plenty of literary proof read for yourself and investigate see how great the bible is what else there is a continuously growing archaeological proof every year those archaeologists go to egypt to israel to jericho to the middle east to dig and they found more proof about things written in the bible adding to the archaeological proof that the bible is indeed believable and historically accurate and all the prophecies and the proof of the changed life my friend the bible is very very powerful one of the most powerful books you can ever read question why is the bible so difficult to understand okay like everything else the more we read it the more we understand it it's not easy it might not be easy at first but the more you concentrate on it the more you read on it, the more you will understand it. Psalms 119.99 says, I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. Not only the Bible is very accurate and powerful, it makes us more intelligent than our teachers. Okay, next question. Why do animals eat? each other huh? it is because of sin 
<clears throat> because before sin, no animals ate each other. No killing. After sin, there will be no killing. Therefore, it is because of sin that death happens. Okay? One of the effects of death or curses of disobedience, or one of the effects or curses of disobedience is uh, animal uh, craziness or uh, animal problems. Some animals attack each another animal. Okay? So that when you see animals eating each other, quarreling, biting each other, predating on each other, it is because of our sins that that happens to them. The whole nature groans. Why do roses have thorns? It is because of our human sin. That's why the whole earth is like that. Cursed because of sin. Question, was Jesus vegan? Now, Jesus is vegan because he went to heaven. And in heaven, there is no death. Therefore, he doesn't eat fish there. He doesn't eat lamb there. According to Acts 1, he went to heaven. And how he went, that's how he's coming back. Okay? If Jesus was not be vegan, why should we bother being vegan? Huh? Another question that has the similar answer is this. Why did Jesus eat fish in Luke 24, 20, uh, 41 to 43? But he did not want vinegar in Matthew 27, 33, when he was crucified on the cross. In, in my dialect in Tagalog, vinegar is translated as alak. Alak is the same word used for liquor or intoxicating drink. Because those people who crucify people at those times, they know that vinegar is used to anesthetize the mind. Okay, so that those crucified will not feel the pain of being crucified. Okay, anyway, this is the reason <clears throat> how to reconcile Jesus eating meat and being vegan. Okay, number one, <clears throat> he got rid of the fat. Leviticus 7.23 says, Do shall, You shall not eat the fat. Number two, he got rid of the blood. Gen uh, Deuteronomy 12.23 says, Do not eat the blood. And the fish was clean. You see, Leviticus 11.31-40 to 40 <clears throat> says that anything, even things that used to be clean, if they are put in dirty water, in contaminated water, in contaminated container, or there's uh, other pollution or expired, it will become unclean. So things that are clean can become unclean. Remember that Jesus, maybe Jesus cleaned, made sure the fish was clean. Also, there is another qualification for things that can uh, fish that can be eaten if they are clean in Leviticus 11.10. It has to have fish, uh, pins, and scales. <clears throat> so, those are the things that make a fish unclean and becloud the mind. Why does it becloud the mind? Because of the pollution according to Council to Diets and Foods, page 383. It the clouds the mind the reason is because all the toxic load of all the pollution or con contamination okay according to ministry of healing page 314 in my blog you can click these links to see the <clears throat> context of these quotations and more information okay one way to understand how is one way to understand all the killings and sacrifices in the Bible. First of all, as I said a while ago, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Many people blame God. Why do people die? But why don't we just blame Satan? He is the one who invented sin. He is the one who caused all this death, <clears throat> because death is cause of sin. Who invented sin? Satan. So God gave his son so that we will not die. Jesus died, who did no sin. He died for us so that we can 
live eternally instead of die eternally. So the first death in Genesis 3 was the death of the Lamb to teach us that our sin causes death. When Adam and Eve committed sin, God removed, killed a lamb, sacrificed the lamb as a representation that someday at the lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, according to John 1 29, will die for us humans. So that lamb represented the death of Jesus Christ, which was supposed to be the death of Adam and Eve and everybody else who sins. Whenever they sacrifice the lamb, my friend, or whatever they sacrifice, sin offering, that is a representation of our supposed to be death. But because of God's grace, He is offering somebody else who has no sin to die for us so that we will not forget the effects of sin. We will learn our lesson that our sin causes somebody else's death, somebody else's innocent death. That's why we have to offer on those times they had to offer these sacrifices until the death of Jesus Christ when the <clears throat> curtain of the temple was open was was uh, divided that means all of this ceremony that point to Jesus Christ is finished that's why Jesus said in the cross when he was crucified it is finished <clears throat> therefore after that time no more need for sacrifices you will there's a link down there that talks about the sanctuary message or the sanctuary truth. And it talks about all these marvelous interpretations in the Bible. Okay? <clears throat> Why did God command the Israelites to kill the Canaanites? Uh, because of sin again. It's the same with Noah's time. There was a flood in Genesis 6. Why did God decide to reformat the world to kill all flesh because the thoughts of the man were purely evil only, only noah and his family were righteous that's why also the same thing with sodom and gomorrah everything was wicked <clears throat> everything was wicked in sodom and gomorrah that's why god called lot and his family and rained down fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. That is a warning for us. <clears throat> so, but the Canaanites, they were doing evil. In Deuteronomy 9.5 says, not because of your righteousness or, or your integrity that you are going in to take possession of their land, but on account of the wickedness of this nation. So God sends truth to all nations if they don't repent what's the use of uh, uh, generating more evil when they did not kill all of the Canaanites the Israelites learned the sins of the Canaanites the reason God told you kill them because they will teach you idolatry and you will also die <clears throat> wages of sin is death that's why it says it says here in Leviticus 11, You shall not do as they do in the land of Egypt, where you live, and you shall not do as they do in the land of Canaan, to which I am bringing you. You shall not walk in their statutes. <clears throat> you shall not. You shall follow my rules and keep my statutes and walk in them. I am the Lord your God. You shall keep, therefore, my statutes and my rules. If a person keeps them, he shall live. Otherwise, he will die. Okay? Leviticus 11.35 So, you will actually see this because in Leviticus 18.25 says, The land one defiled was defiled. So, I punished it for its sin and the land vomited out its inhabitants. But in Genesis 15, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. In Genesis 15, God said, that the sin of the Amorites has not yet reached full measure. That means God is also patient with the Canaanites, Amorites. But after 400 years, God said, completely destroy them. The Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, Jebusites, 
as the Lord God commanded you. That was more than 400 years of grace. But they did not repent. They did not change their ways. Therefore, what's the use? <clears throat> okay? How can vegan movements make the world truly vegan? That includes the animals, yeah? I'm When I say the world truly vegan, I am including the animals. First, there are many ways we can help by appealing to emotions of compassion and pity. That's good. You, we are concerned with the, the welfare of our animals. Actually, Proverbs 12, 10 says, A righteous man regards the life of his animal, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. My friend, if you are concerned with your animal, you have some righteousness in you. So cultivate. Let us cultivate and admire that. Let's learn some more. Maybe when we learn some more, we will be more. Uh, we will learn more of uh, righteousness by teaching health benefits of clean food in Leviticus 11, 1 to 31, and eliminating unclean food or polluted, contaminated food, or even clean food that has become com uh, polluted, contaminated because of the sea having all this mercury uh, waste and the waste from the city and uh, nuclear waste uh, thrown in the sea <clears throat> and other things. Also, all the waste in the, in the lakes, especially highly polluted uh, localities. Third, by teaching the root cause. What is the root cause <clears throat> of death of animals? The root cause the really root cause is death uh, is sin so the root cause is sin root cause of predation root cause of suffering suffering root root cause of cruelty is sin that's how we can totally save animals from their own cruelty and human human cruelty and number four we can help make the world totally vegan by teaching people accurately how to go to get to the perfectly vegan uh, earth the reason i say accurately is because satan is trying to distort this truth that's why we have to correct the myths that distort the solution and point to the credible credible literature instead to understand so that uh, we can understand the big picture there is a satan and a lucifer who is lying who is telling bad things about god because he wants us to die with him you have to understand that my friend you cannot ignore evil and good because the reason you want to be vegan is because you want to be good because killing animals is bad therefore there is bad there is good now let us accurately define good and bad historically with evidence okay so let's if you can click the link below myths that distort you will learn a lot of things amazing things my friend okay why do people fail to be vegan number one lack of education proverbs 29 18 says where there is no revelation people cast off restraint but blessed is the one who heeds wisdom instruction. Number two, lack of skill of cooking or preparing palatable and nutritious food. According to Councils on Diet and Food 205, paragraph 2 by Ellen G. White. Number three, poverty. There is expensive vegetable and meat is cheaper and they don't have money. What do they have to, what can they do? Of course, they can plant. You have, you can educate them. But if there's not enough land, what can they do? Sometimes it's a lifelong habit since uh, when they were children until they were 60 years old. And then how can they become vegan? So, so it's a challenge to change. What are those are the, some of the uh, things we have to uh, acknowledge and how to how to solve that one in the next section. <clears throat> Number four is perverted appetite. 
according if you click that link you will see the description of a perverted appetite that means the appetite is not vegan anymore it's not original it depends depends on many chemicals and so on and unnatural things <clears throat> philippians 3 19 says their god is their stomach Naku. okay how can we help people to be vegan education first councils on diets and foods by ellen g white is a book with plenty of education how not only veganism but also about other things that affect our health and the health of our families and the animals also she was one of the top 100 most influential americans according to smith sonia <clears throat> other ways to help people become vegan by example so it's easier to people to for people to copy by training you know by having some you know uh, lessons and practice and system not just uh, uh, preaching and by policy making rules okay it says here in uh, 7mr55 if the patronage these are uh, these are messages for seventh day adventists that's why you may wonder if you go to a seventh day adventist uh, school cafeteria or seventh day adventist hospital cafeteria it is vegetarian if the patronage of our restaurants lessens because we refuse to depart from right principles then let it lessen we must keep the way of the lord though evil report as well as through evil report as well as good report one more thing it has it says in nine volume nine of testimony 157 paragraph one i have been instructed that the students in our school are not to be served with flesh food <clears throat> or with food preparations that are known to be unhealthful nothing that will serve to encourage a desire for stimulants should be placed on the tables i appeal to the old and young and to the middle aged deny your appetite for those things that are doing you injury serve the lord by sacrifice and here is a policy i found about schools canteens and cafeteria in schools and seventh day adventist schools in southern asia pacific division they have to remove products with substantial detrimental health effects meat stimulating foods msg uh, chocolate bars candies rich cookies pastries reduce uh, what is this processed food sweetened beverages and replace with better nutritious and educate on how to provide these things so that's uh, what the Seventh-day Adventist Church and the institutions are all trying to achieve and to teach and to train people about. Furthermore, there is something very heavy here. It says, there are some in our institutions who claim to believe the principles of health reform and yet who indulge in the use of flesh meats and other foods which they do know to be injurious to health. I say to shots in the name of the Lord. Do not accept positions in our institutions while you refuse to leave the principles for which our institutions stand. For by doing this, you make doubly hard the work of teachers and leaders who are striving to carry the work on right lines. Clear the king's way, highway. Cease to block the way of the messages he sends. Council to Diets, page 415, paragraph 4. What else can we help? with in making people vegan enthusiasm and perseverance it says in christian service page 262 paragraph 2 in proportion to the enthusiasm and perseverance will be the work with which the work is carried forward will be the success given wow perseverance and enthusiasm what else when something is removed when you remove meat we have to replace it with better things because in matthew 12 43 to 44 somebody cleaned the house 
to remove all the evil spirits, but the evil spirits, they did not replace it with good spirit. So some evil spirits came back, so it cleaned, and then they called seven more other evil spirits and they stayed there again. That means when you remove something, <clears throat> replace it with better things. Okay, something better. Now we would like to appreciate the vegan advocates. My friends, thank you for the very nice, delicious, very palatable pictures you post in social media. It is very educational and very nice to look at. Thank you for all the scientific evidences that you post and about this uh, good diet of being vegan. Thank you for all your welfare, animal welfare advocate advocacies. Keep up the good work, my friends. Someday soon, the world, the whole world, including the animals, will be vegan. No more wild animals, no more killing, no more death. We hope that everybody makes the decision and even does research on how to be there. And we will be happy there, my friend. Next, other amazing vegan ideas. First, do you know that salvation and diet are related? I watched this video by Pastor Don McIntosh. He is a registered nurse, very great preacher, about how uh, the diet, the food improves the nearer we are to God in the context of the sanctuary. Number two, did you know that Daniel, who was a vegan, he was not eaten by lions, but his enemies who were not vegan, or Daniel was a vegan, yeah? his enemies who were not vegan were eaten by the same lions very quickly. That story is in Daniel 6. Number three, did you know that the whole world was vegan? I told this a while ago before sin. Genesis first, second Genesis uh, chapter. Before sin, it was vegan. After sin, Revelation 21 to 22, two, two chapters after sin, wholly vegan again. So read the whole Bible. It tells the story of redemption. How we are going to go back to the fully vegan earth again did you know that uh, people who eat pigs will not be saved in isaiah 66 17. did you also know that nebuchadnezzar was not a vegan so god gave them a dream nebuchadnezzar forgot the dream these non-vegans are forgetful daniel was given the same dream and he was vegan he remembered the dream and he not only did he remember the dream he also knew God showed him the interpretation and the history of the world has been following that interpretation in Daniel 2 until now and it will that means it will also follow towards the future so that's everything my friend I hope you got a very quick uh, overview of how and when Will the world become fully vegan again? God bless. I hope 